one of the first things actually that happened when I got hired on this is that I had a Zoom with their security. <laughs> and so then oh, I was yeah. like, I think a man's going to come and kill me. <laughs> they didn't it's just hold up a picture to... of Mark Ruffalo and Tom Holland and say, don't be like these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Samuel L. Jackson here with the cast of Secret Invasion for the, what is this? This is Around the Table. <laughs> around this the Table. This is AW. Entertainment Week. Yeah, Entertainment Weekly, oh. they have Around the Table. AW is Around the Table. Yeah. Stick around and see what's around the table. Boom. <laughs> Fury. Since you've been gone, things have gotten much worse. How do you think I came back? The thing that I loved about it that connected to me is it really is boots on the ground. Everybody in the series has their boots on the ground. Nobody flies. People do have um, super powers in some way, but I think the superpowers end up being like Nick Fury's superpowers of um, Persuasion. Persuasion and, and yeah. you know, General. having a moral code General. and fighting for that moral code. The opportunity to really do something different uh, in this genre we keep talking about as a comp, Winter Soldier, you know, yeah. espionage, spy, thriller, and these are the right players for that. Everybody yeah. here has an important, you know, arc that works, that's kind of complete. We know who they are, they, they state their purpose, they go about doing those things. Mm -hmm. And Nick just happens to be the one thing that connects them all in a way. I'm like the connective tissue. And they use me as like, okay, he's the guy because I'm the guy everybody knows. So when they come to it, they're coming to it because it's gonna, oh, we finally get the Nick Fury series, but they're gonna be surprised because they're gonna find out so much about all these other people that you know they are going to want to know more about. I've had the chance to watch all the episodes and the best thing about it is seeing you interacting with all of the people that we know from the MC universe that we love so much. And we get to know so much more about Nick Fury through these relationships and through, and each person in the show has like, there's, it's almost like, it's almost like an origin story. There's, you know what I mean? There's, there's, you see depth and you see textures and you see colors that you haven't seen before in any of the other movies or TV shows that you guys have been in. And it's just really satisfying. The central argument going on is there's plausibility on both sides. So there's a very good argument for this and there's an yeah. equally compelling argument for that. And that's sort of, you know, where that, how that breaks apart, how that gets resolved, and this and that and the other. Is that I, until, I dig on that. Is that until you, I guess, it was a big question for me as I was coming in as well, like thematically, like to coexist, to not coexist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But where does that change when you start blowing up innocent people? Like when children and people who've got nothing to do with it sort of become involved, mm -hmm. that, that's the line that's crossed. And I guess that was the thing with Gravik, wasn't it? It was like, yeah, I understand his point of view and where he's coming from to a point. What I've always said about terrorists, it's easy to look at their reaction and say, well, they're a terrorist. But if you go back and understand their grievance, mm -hmm. which we're given a chance to do, the, mm -hmm. the grievance between mm -hmm. the two of you, and then if you even take it one step further and examine the environment out of which that grievance grew, you understand that person more. And that's where it becomes, oh, this is not just good guy versus bad guy. This is a fuller story. And I think it, it was uh, we were allowed to go there through your character. Yeah. And we got to talk it out in the, those scenes, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, really yeah. Go like, this is how I feel about you we were able to fill it with like real emotional backstory yeah yeah and th that's to you that's that's on that's on you dad a lot too you do you give a lot of room to us space, and you know yeah. you know when to tap the, the you know tap it on the that angle to go you know, get that way more you all can go there and that's what's really fun i don't have to do anything other than let you go there and the, yeah you didn't need the stick i thought that was a lot this is personal. Very few of us know about the wars fought in the shadows that have raged on this planet. Do you feel responsible? I get to be a little bit vicious, <laughs> <laughs> which is really fun. <laughs> um, and I did ask at the beginning, can she be funny, please? 
because uh, I don't know, I find vicious people who are a bit funny. I don't know, I just quite like that idea. Um, it works. And, uh, <laughs> it works. It's the, de you, you yeah. the definition of playing against. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I do chop off someone's finger, which I don't think people who have seen my work before will have expected. <laughs> um, and you do it so joyfully. Oh, thank so you. Much. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So much. What I'm disappointed Wait. they didn't see is I had an actual beautiful rollout sort of torture kit. With, it was amazing, oh, right. like a manicure kit, but with... Uh, See, when I saw the episode, things. I saw that. Yes. Oh, did you? Yeah. Marie Hill is just overwhelmed and frustrated with fury. And I think it, it's it's an interesting thing to, <laughs> to play a scene um, where uh, she gets to call him out on some stuff. It's very intimidating for her and, and also just intimidating to call out. <laughs> no, <laughs> <you're down. laughs> um, but she, you know, she has to level with him in this and, um, you know, point out some things. Everybody's got some, you know, some angst with Fury right now. You know, it's like, where you been? What you doing? She's frustrated. She vents. You know, he's frustrated. He vents. You know, <laughs> he's frustrated. He thinks, you know, she's she's like, dude, you you really shouldn't be here. <laughs> she's not even frustrated about it. She's like ridiculing him really in a way. It's like, you, you're gonna get hurt really badly unless you leave again. Mm -hmm. You know, just go back where you were and chill. You know, but everybody's got this 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 thing with Fury, and Fury doesn't understand it, and realizes that you know he cannot be bailed out by these people that have been bailing him out, including. The scrolls, which, you know, we find out it's like Fury's Fury's whole ascendance has been because of the scroll support that nobody knew about. And he hasn't been able to fulfill his promise, but they've done everything for him that made him Nick Fury. Mm -hmm. So he owes them. The last time we see guys, she's a, you know, small, she's like six, seven, maybe, mm -hmm. in, in human terms. And I'm going to pass And it wasn't it me. That six-year-old wasn't you? It wasn't me. <laughs> we didn't shoot little, that 20 or so years ago. No. We didn't even know what Ben looked like on that movie. Yeah, that's it. Because he was always green. I had the pig set on. It was I, 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 I love <laughs> in the <laughs> series the way that that, because it's such a brief scene between the two of you. You know, you catch up to her. There's just a two line exchange about mom mm. and then she leaves and you don't, you let her go. You don't yeah, chase yeah. her. And it's like, yeah. you know, as a father. <laughs> it's a big one, that one, isn't it's it? Like that's, yeah. that's a, yeah. that was a rough one. That's the other thing about the show. There's so many wonderful moments to be very human. It's just a dad and a daughter having it out. Yeah. And dad's like pissed me off again. And he's, you know, dad. And, and she's being, you know, like. One more time. Being a what? I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. I don't want to actually say it. Exactly. It's my being a teenager. Yeah. Where are the Avengers? This war is one I have to fight alone. Like Sam, I, I had a big, you know, chip on my shoulder that we we thought we should have been in Wakanda together. We thought, really, you're not going to pull us into Wakanda. Perfect opportunity, but uh, we're very glad to have had the chance to do it in this. You know, I've been wanting to work with Sam for for many, many years. So this was this was a lot of fun for me. Well, this works out in you know a, a perfect kind of way because it's like I didn't have to think about what was going to happen or how it was going to happen. I knew that Dom was in the space. I'm in the space. It was about to be lit. So mm -hmm. you know, just strike the match, light the fuse, let us do what we do. It's all trust, all fun. Yep. All joy, you know, I mean, just glad to be in the space with him because, you know, we've been wanting to be in this space for a while. I mean, we hang out, we play golf together and yeah. walk around and never get to, it's like, what are you working on? What are you working on? Yeah, it's a, but never like, huh, they got any room for me? <laughs> yeah. any room, you know, none of that, you know, yeah. but we all know, you know, that we want to be in that space together and that, that feeling of us creating together it's something we need to do before we leave the planet. There you yeah, go. Because yeah, yeah. that's what it is. You know, it's like people asking, well, why haven't you been in a movie with Morgan? Why haven't you been in a movie with so-and-so? You know, so we all wonder the same things. Mm. Yeah. But, you know, uh, unless we create that space for ourselves or it happens, you know, we're in the same space in the Marvel universe. Mm -hmm. And we were questioning the fact of, how come the brothers in the Marvel universe never hang out? <laughs> exactly. uh, we never talk to each other. You know, it's like, Mackie, you go, 
Well, all right, maybe I don't want to hang out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but the rest of us trying to get together. <laughs> I think what's cool about this is we're seeing both of these characters in a very different way than we've seen them before, as Amelia was saying. It's like these are two new iterations of these of these men in vulnerable positions. I've been sort of called to show up and have been, you know, tried to be embarrassed by, you know, the United Nations and the council. And I've got to come talk to my friend, like, what are you doing? And he's being put in a compromised position. And if you have Fury now trying to deal with people looking at him, telling him, like, you're not the man anymore. Mm -hmm. So it was a very fraught scene and a lot of uh, a lot of levels and a lot of things to play with. You know, he's a peer. He is a colleague. But at the same time, at this moment, we're sort of you know, adversaries. It was just fun. It was just a lot of yeah. stuff to chew up, a lot of fun words and ideas and thoughts. And like you said, a good yeah. arc. It's you such a great the scene. Such a great scene. scene. Oh. You know, that scene was yeah. really beautiful. So, yeah. Like you, you talk about the history and like you guys go back and away, but you really right. feel it in yeah. that scene. You're like, there's a real history here and like many, many layers to it. Like right. didn't really feel intriguing. like that was the first time that we've yeah. seen you guys. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. It yeah, right. felt yeah. like well, you've yeah. always yeah. had this relationship. Yeah. And that familiarity gets used as a cudgel. That's right. <laughs> it's yeah. kind of like, oh, you were expecting this? No, <laughs> let me tell you what I, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, so no, it's a, a very juicy and wonderful kind of, okay, that could have been all kinds of scenes that could have been real pablum. But exactly. this is like, this turns out to be something special. You're the most wanted man on the planet. You don't know what they have planned for you. Great Nick Fury. One of the first things actually that happened when I got hired on this is that I had a Zoom with their security. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they terrified me. Yeah. And so then I was like, I think a man's going to come and kill me <laughs> if I say anything. I remember that Zoom as well. And they said, Terrifying. social media. I went, oh, I don't have any. And they went, Oh, okay. That's, yeah, <laughs> great. Right. They didn't know how to cope with that. Right, right, oh, right. no, they were like, you can't even, like, you can't, if you took a picture of, like, yourself in your hotel room at a certain time, fans can figure stuff out. So I literally, it got to, when, the first couple of days, I'd just, like, take my SIM card out of my phone. Oh, <laughs> that's like, hilarious. Good spycraft, like though, and I have to say, because she didn't work that in. Like, Used her brain. The whole thing. Yeah, there we go. That's it. It's, yes. It came out, good mm -hmm. spycraft. Yeah, and then, I, and then I, you know, I chilled out a little bit. When it got spoiled for Game of Thrones, it just hurt. So it was just, su it just sucks. So that this time I was, and not that I did the spoiling, not that I like went Did someone spoil yeah, yeah, yeah. on that, did they? They used to send drones, I, if oh, I hear wow. the f noise of a drone, drone yeah. it scares yeah. the yeah. f***ing drone. Yeah. yeah, drones, yeah, drones yeah, over, drones the over the explosion site. And that's yeah. when they like they took one down. They come and cover oh, you up. Yeah. With and, then they, yeah. that. and they followed, yeah. they followed one you back to where the dude was. Oh, good. Oh, brilliant. Good. And found him. dude. Yeah, they got him. They didn't it's just hold up a picture to... of Mark Ruffalo and Tom Holland and say, don't be like these guys. <laughs> <laughs> no. See these? Yeah. Do this. There are worse yeah. examples than that. Yeah. <laughs> there are worse there than are. that. There are. Are. I remember when I was shooting, when we got ready to do Avengers, <laughs> somebody <laughs> printed out a copy of my Avengers script that had my watermark no. on it. No. And put it online for sale. No. no. And I was shooting in Canada. Oh, Marvel no. came to Canada. They went through the office because it had been printed in the in the production office. Oh, so they. Oh there my was god. A, oh my god. Oh wow. Oh my god. They went through the burn. They went through the burn box oh, to get all god, this. Yes, because I had no idea this, that that printers had memories at that time. Mm. It was like that was a whole new wow. piece of information. So you didn't know who he did. Yeah. Who, they oh, found out who he was. Dude, let dude quit. Left the country. They wow. set up a fake buy for the script. Dude didn't show up. Oh, no. this is the this wow. is the movie. Oh, yeah, it was yeah. Crazy. yeah. Wow. And then they killed oh, so, him, right? Wow. Then they executed him. So this is what happens when you know, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's then, why they have auto yeah. security. If somebody people, if somebody yeah. got Mackie yeah. sides or something. Oh man. But see, oh, Game of Thrones, oh, when we were doing Game of Thrones, when it started to get like the later seasons, no scripts. we were, yeah, we some massive security changes happened and I was chatting to David and Dan being like, how is that? And they were like, Marvel, we're just learning from Marvel. Like whatever Marvel do, we just want to do that. So that became our like, yeah. you don't print anything. 
And then there was like me and Peter Dinklage being like, I need it on paper. I can't uh, learn my lines without it being I'm on paper. With, I'm with I'm you. Busy. I'm with you. Single sided. Yeah. Yeah. No double sided. Exactly. Thank you. you. Of that. Yeah. That's, That's it. Script. Yes. A ta- you know, a tactile, the only genuine thing I'm not thing an environmentalist about. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Well, and then, I'm going to cycle it. But, and then you know, when yeah. you finished, they had to come to your house and get your script. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. That's yeah. it. Come take them away. I'd be like, no, mine has gone to my binder. Because I bind down my scripts when I'm finished with them. Yeah. People. I gave my binder back. <laughs> they asked for it back, so oh, I gave my binder I know. Back. They're, they're, I was like, you get to read my weird freaky notes, yeah, though. It's embarrassing as hell. Like, you're not going to They will it. give it back. They will give it you back. You don't know who David They'll, is. They will give it back to you once it, once it comes them? out. Once it comes oh, out. Once it comes no. out. Yeah, if, yeah, yeah. Once they've got to go. notes. Yeah, once they've got a file on you. Exactly. Then you get it back. last fight. Thank you for indulging us here <laughs> around the table. Yes, sir. If you have the money, June 21st, <laughs> Disney Plus <laughs> will be on your screen. Watch us, mother <laughs> <laughs>